Hey everybody and welcome to another Avid Max tying tutorial. Today's fly is the Chernobyl Ant. Just a few materials for this fly, pretty simple one to tie. We're going to start with the TMC 5262 hook here in the vise and a nice long shank hook. Then we're going to use the Uni 6 aught in black thread with some 2 millimeter tying foam, the hairline thin foam in black. And we're going to use a little bit of yellow as well, just for some uh, visibility. And then we're going to tie in some rubber legs on this, the medium round rubber legs in black as well. All right, so to start this fly, we're just going to start our thread, just like you normally do, right on the hook shank here. And we're going to work our way back. We can clip out our excess material, tag it in there. It's kind of where the Chernobyl stuff started, as I understand it. This Chernobyl ant is the first to come around, just utilizing that foam um, and tying in the segmentation of it. So a lot of evolution from there after this pattern. But I'm just going to head on back. Some somewhat neat thread wraps here because it will be fairly visible. You're going to cover most of it up with foam, but some of that is going to show through just slightly. And we'll go right back to where that hook bend is. And then we can tie in some of our foam. So we're using the River Road Creations body cutters here. This is the Chernobyl round version. This is the small size that I'm using today on uh, this size eight hook. And I'm just gonna fix that right on top. And we're gonna tie in our first piece. And we can do one loose wrap and kind of figure out where we want it and then cinch that down and do another wrap and pull it tight to the hook shank here. And we'll give it just a couple of quick turns to make sure that it's fairly set there. And then we come back in with another piece of foam, the same size, and I'm doing the same color. This is going to be an all black variation of the Chernobyl Ant. It's also commonly done with a tan piece of foam on the underbody and a black on top. You can do purples and a lot of different color combinations for this fly. But we're just going to make sure that's secure. I'm going to do a couple threads snuck underneath it to help prevent it from, from moving around on the hook, sh hook shank there. And then we can tie in that visibility, that hot spot that I was talking about. So for that, I'm going to use just a little bit of tires foam in yellow. You could do orange, white, whatever you prefer just to help you see the fly when it's out on the water a little bit better. Position that right on top here as well. And then pull it snug right down into the crevice of where that black foam is. And then we can trim out our excess. So we're just going to tie our legs in here. And I'm going to measure out right about the shank of the body and that's going to be my tie-in point, my midpoint for these. Just using the black round rubber legs. I like this material a lot. It's uh, got some great action to it. So we'll tie the first one in just quickly there on this side of the hook shank. And then we can come back over and I'll sneak underneath my thread there and just position it and lock it down like so. And then we can trim out our excess material on that side. So now that we got our legs in, we can start working on our underbody to this fly. And that's what the fish is going to see. It's kind of a funny pattern because you look at it and most fishermen would look at it and say, well, what is that supposed to imitate? But the idea is that the part that lands on the water is going to have this segmentation that we're going to create here. And that's what the fish see and that's how you get that ant profile visible to them. So I do about five wraps, one, two, three, four, five underneath, just kind of count them out to kind of, to try and keep my segmentation even here. And then we'll go over and cinch it down one or two times. Let's kind of check out the bottom, you see how we get that uh, segmentation creation there. Giving it that buggy look. 
and then we repeat that a couple more times Make sure we're nice and secure on that hook shank and right up to the front just going to create a little bit more thread base underneath here and then we can capture off that last segment like so and make sure that's not going to move around on us and bring down the top piece of foam and secure it just like we did the back half nice and snug there it's all looking pretty good and then we repeat what we did with the legs and the hot spot. So we'll tie in another piece of yellow foam right on top here. Just like such. About that excess material. And do our legs. This is an awesome fly if you are fishing a hopper dropper system. It's just super buoyant. Having that foam all throughout doubled up really helps keep things afloat you can you can throw some heavier droppers off the bottom when you got something like this holding them up so same thing we'll just use our thread to capture that piece of leg and we can trim out our excess material here clip down our legs a little bit and then come on in and give it a whip finish like so and then I'm going to shorten up my legs just a little bit kind of even them out here we'll do the front half together all at once put them just a little bit make sure they're even and then do the same on the back there you are there's a finished Chernobyl Ants. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure to give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see us tie in the future, please drop us a comment in the lines below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, be sure to subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.